Okay, let's do this fucking shit. Hey, it is uh, Tuesday, September 29th, 2020. I actually did not get to the news yesterday. Um, I actually decided to get off my ass and join a gym. So I just, I didn't get to it. Uh, going, going from here, uh, I think I'm actually going to try and get back to doing this on Friday or at the very least Saturday. But anyways, uh, can't actually get into the game right now. The update has started. Uh, so what we'll do here is I actually just downloaded the update, so it should be back up shortly, hoping. So let's just check out the patch notes here. It says, uh, customize, customize your characters like never before with ISO 8. Create new team possibilities. Add additional power and grant new abilities. Also in this new release, three new playable characters, Scream, Anti-Venom, and She-Hulk. Fantastic Four ability enhancements. Um, I believe that's going to allow uh, the three of them to, or four of them rather, uh, to work with She-Hulk as the fifth. Uh, two new challenge tiers for all challenges. A stream event campaign, Parasitic Intentions. Marvelous new app icon, which I've seen and I really don't care for. I like the, uh, the Strike Force logo that we've had from the very beginning. Or actually the Strike logo. And Smashed Bugs. Okay, so let's just go on with the blog post from Friday. It looks like we got two here. We got, uh, actually, we got. Oh, they've been busy. Okay, we got one about the new icon, which right there, it's all right. I said I just, I prefer the classic logo. Uh, and the Blitz Sim, that's, I'm glad that's there, because I almost forgot to talk about that. Uh, basically, what had happened was, I don't know if any of you experienced it, it was in the game for a brief period of time. I was lucky to catch the tail end of it. They added the sim feature accidentally uh, to Blitz and Raids. Um, I didn't get to experience it on Raids, because by that time they had caught it and shut it back off. But uh, from what I understand, it worked the same way as it does in Blitz, and that is... You know, you pick your team, there's a, a toggle button up in the top left-hand corner that says Enable Sim. You turn that on, and you find your matchup, you hit Fight, and instantly, it's either victory or defeat. Um, it was actually, uh, it was actually pretty good. I, uh, I was in 8-3 when I did my blitz battles and I lost like the first, the first three, cause those are my build up teams. So they're not really winning in tier seven or eight. But, uh, after that, every team actually won. Uh, and I wasn't even really being selective about the matchups. I was just sim, 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 sim. Uh, took me like, Two minutes to do my whole uh, my whole rotation, uh, but they've announced in here that that will be coming in December of this year, which is awesome. But they also say they can't confirm if it will be coming out for raids or not. But for Blitz, 
It'll be December. Okay. Now we got a post here on screen. It says, Greetings, Commanders. Watch your step this week because another symbiote is on the loose and it's looking for someone uh, to whet its appetite. After connect, after connecting with the new Klein tar on the block, is that uh, is that the the symbiote's race? I don't think I've ever heard that. Uh, strap in for an event courtesy of Doom, Fantastic Blitzes, and a red hot returning legendary event. Now prepare for your first. Contact with Strike's newest symbiote. Stream. Corrupt the battlefield with the symbiote team's upcoming new member, Stream. A spawn of a spawn of the Venom alien symbiote. Stream is a bloodthirsty parasite that bonded with a mentally unstable soldier of fortune and has spent much of her time on Earth terrorizing its top heroes. Much like Venom. Stream possesses superhuman strength, reflexes, an accelerated healing factor, and a form of ESP similar to Spider-Man's Spider-Sense. For the Symbiote team, Scream is a controller who silences enemies by applying bleed, disrupted, and slow, as well as healing all Symbiote allies when any character is eliminated from a battle. Make enemies shriek with scream. Villain City Biocontroller Symbiote. Uh, basic Symbiote Swipes. Attack primary target for damage plus apply bleed plus clear one positive effect. Chain to two adjacent targets for damage and apply bleed plus clear one positive effect. This attack can chain to stealth targets. Counterattack breaks this chain. Special Splitting Hairs uh, starts 4 energy, ready on turn 1, attack primary target for damage, plus clear 2 positive effects, plus apply defense down. Chain to 2 adjacent target targets for damage, plus clear 2 positive effects, plus apply defense down. This attack can chain the stealth targets, counterattack breaks this chain. Ultimate Hair Trigger, energy cost 4 or 6. Attack primary target for damage, plus apply slow for 2 turns, and disrupted for 1 turn. Attack adjacent targets for damage, plus apply slow for 2 turns, and disrupted for 1 turn. Reduce speed bar for primary and secondary targets. This attack cannot be blocked, but it can still be dodged. Passive symbiotic, symbiotic Attachment. On death of any character, heal all symbiote allies for a percentage of this character's max health, plus supply speed up for two turns to self and all symbiote allies. If this character has three or more symbiote allies, lower all enemies' resistance by a percentage. One of your first chances to merge with the symbiote to merge Symbiote Scream with your roster will be in the Parasitic Intentions event campaign. Assemble a top team with limited time metamorphosis trait to join Scream as she fulfills her end of an ominous pact with Doom. Gathering her siblings for Doom's army in exchange for his help to control her Symbiote powers. For a complete list of characters using the metamorphosis Metamorphosis trait. Filter your roster using Metamorphosis. Doom's influence. Dr. Doom is still en route to Nexus Earth, but he's already land launched a myth a mystical assault. <coughs> Sorry about that. To counter his attack, Strike is temporarily moving character shards to new strategic locations, including Captain Marvel who is making her campaign node deb debut. Here's a rundown of all the affected nodes with the characters in bold. Heroes 1-9, Yandu to Hawkeye. 
Heroes 2 3, Shield Medic to Mysterio. Heroes 2 6, Bullseye to Yondu. Heroes 3 6, Shield Security to Captain America. Heroes 3 9, Electra to Shocker. Heroes 4 9, Nebula to Bullseye. Heroes 6 6, Hawkeye to Quake. Heroes 6 9, Captain America to Captain Marvel. Villains 1 3, Bullseye to Electra. Villains 1-9, Hawkeye to Black Widow. Villains 2-3, Hydra Sniper to Green Goblin. Nexus 3-9, Electra to Vision. And Cosmic 2-3, Key Cree Cyborg to Hydra Sniper. The characters originally on those nodes have either been moved or were a duplicate instance. We've also lowered the star unlocks for Mysterio and Hawkeye. Mysterio will now unlock at two stars, 45 shards. And Hawkeye will unlock at one star, 15 shards. So he basically got demoted to minion status. <laughs> uh, take advantage of Doom's influence while you can. Returning legendary event. You just can't keep a mythical bird down. Rising from her own ashes once again is Phoenix for her upcoming legendary event, Phoenix Rising. To recruit this explosive mutant, you'll need a team of villain mystic controllers characters, which include Hela, Hand Assassin, Loki, Mordo, Nobu, and Ronin. Recruit Phoenix and slow enemies, show enemies what it's like to be buried in ash. Yeah, I wish Hela was a was available when I unlocked Phoenix. I, I had a I had to use Nobu. Upcoming blitzes, punch holes through your enemy. With your choice of fists or an optic blast in this week's blitzes, Ben Grimm, aka the Thing, charges in the blitz first with the clobbering time blitz. Crush enemy, crush enemy teams, and reinforce. This rock hard brawler with character shards. And that's actually going on right now. Opening eyes next is Cyclops in the X Leader Blitz, where character shards for the X Men Fearless Leader are up for grabs. Don't miss out and make sure Scott Summers is ready for the arrival of Phoenix. Now, I believe that is his first blitz. And if that's the case, are they going to do Red Stars or Mega Orbs for for his Blitz? Guess we'll have to wait till Thursday to find out. Uh, Chaos, Theory, and Wakanda Nation. Prepare for Chaos. Prepare your Wakandans for Chaos Theory with the upcoming Wakanda Nation event. During the event, the following campaign nodes will reward double character shards for Wakandans. Black Panther, Nexus 4-9, and Okoye, Nexus 6-3. Then unleash your Wakandans in Chaos Theory, where you can earn silver and gold promotion credits. The bell is ringing on the blog for this week. Until next time, good luck, Commanders. Okay, so that was the Alien Amplifier. Okay, now we have this uh, one on ISO 8 here. It says, welcome to your introduction to the new exciting feature, ISO 8. We've created a dedicated video tutorial to walk you through this feature. So you'll be ready to jump in right when the right when it goes live this week. We've also provided the same information in text form below, along with some screen shots. And I'm sure you can find the video on YouTube. I'm just going to go over the details here. Uh, whether you're a methodical thinker, tinkerer of teams, or prefer a more casual approach to your roster, ISO 8 is a versatile new way to add an extra dimension to your characters. Simply put, ISO 8 is a progression system, somewhat similar to gear, that allows you for the first time ever to customize your characters. Outfitting your characters with ISO 8 will add additional power, 
boost the capabilities of your current characters, grant new abilities, create new team possibilities, and allow you to customize based on your playstyle. The basic ISO 8 experience is as follows. Acquire ISO 8 crystals, equip your crystals to its designated attribute, unlock and choose your class. Four, customize your squads using ISO 8 boosted characters. ISO 8 unlocks at commander level 55, and upon unlocking this feature, you'll have access to the ISO 8, Isotope 8 campaign. This is where you'll acquire your ISO 8 crystals, and there are multiple types of crystals for each focuses, each focuses on one specific attribute. You slot the ISO-8 crystals into Scientist Supreme's latest invention, invention, the ISO-8 Matrix, which increases the power of one of the five designated core attributes, health, damage, armor, resistance, and focus. These crystals are also attuned to one of the five traits, blaster, brawler, controller, protector, support. Work your way through the Isotope 8 campaign and acquire the necessary crystals for each character trait. Equipped crystals will allow access to powerful new classes. After you've acquired the Iso 8 crystals of your desired attribute, it's time to equip them. Each type of Iso 8 crystal can be equipped into one of five slots in the Iso 8 matrix. If you have enough Iso 8 crystals, of a lower level, you can fuse them to create a higher level ISO-8 crystal. Once you've equipped all the crystals into the matrix, you can unlock a powerful new class. Classes are where your theory crafting and customization come alive. There are five classes, Striker, Fortifier, Healer, Skirmisher, and Raider. And right here we have, <coughs> pardon me. Uh, Captain Marvel as a striker it says on primary hit if target is vulnerable make an ISO bonus attack at 50% damage then clear one vulnerable. This attack is based on the character's basic. To assign a class to a character tap the center of the ISO 8 matrix to view the, your options. Once you've viewed a class and decided which one to equip, select the class and have your character empowered with their new abilities. You can also switch between unlocked classes for free at any time, so don't be afraid to experiment. Find the right class for each character and the best combination of classes for each team. Just like abilities, classes can also be upgraded. Classes require all ISO-8 crystals to be at the max level in order to upgrade. So, for example, to upgrade a class from one level 1 to level 2, all ISO-8 crystals that are equipped must be at least level 2. Upgrading classes cost bonus ions, which are found in campaign nodes in the basic ion orb and your daily objectives. But the pr true power of ISO-8 lies in each individual class and their effects. Classes introduce these gameplay elements. Active healing will increase all non-regenerated regeneration healing done by a character. Minor effects operate at 50%. Minor effects operate at 50% reduced strength. An ion bonus attack is a new attack from a character that is based on their basic attack, as we've seen from the Captain Marvel string, string, screenshot. That's the striker class. A character infected with vulnerable has incoming damage increased by 10%. This is additive with defense down. And so here it says vulnerable, yeah, 10% damage. 
Okay, the classes interact with vulnerable in different ways, so keep that in mind when selecting your class. Here's a rundown of each class and its effects. Strikers enhance attacks and gain an extra attack on vulnerable enemies. Fortifiers protect themselves with barrier. Healers, at the beginning of their turn, heal a low health ally. Skirmishers treat openings by applying vulnerable to enemies. Raiders critically hit more frequently and can apply vulnerable. Hmm, so... I don't know, my guess is it would probably be best to have one of each on a team. Now, obviously, have your uh, tank be the fortifier, uh, give himself that barrier, and if you have a healer on the team, you know, like Minerva or Ebony Ma or anything like that, uh, put the healing on them. Um, if not, if there's no healer on the team, I don't know, I'd, I'd probably just uh, find out what that healing is based off of and uh, go from there. And then you got two characters that can inflict vulnerable and one character to take advantage of that vulnerable. Okay, you now have the tools to transform your roster with the powerful with the power of ISO 8. All that's left is to join Scientist Supreme in the lab and start your own experiments. There are countless potential squad combinations offering additional strategies with ISO 8. So don't be timid about trying new team configurations. We'll be looking to make future improvements to the system, so please give us your feedback to make it even better. Okay, and then we got the patch notes here. Uh, Scientist Supreme's Game Change and Discovery has arrived, ISO 8. For the first time in the history of Marvel Strike Force, you can now customize your characters, similar to gear. ISO 8, yeah, this is all... Nothing new here. Uh, also arriving over the course of the release, enhance your team roster with th three new playable characters, Scream, Manny, Venom, and She-Hulk. Ability enhancements for Human Torch, Mr. Fantastic, Invisible Woman, and The Thing. Uh, two new challenge chairs added for all challenges. Assemble Top Squad Limited Time metamor Metamorphosis Trait for a Stream Event Campaign, Parasitic Intentions, and Marvelous New App Icon. Uh, bugs, Unfiltered Fix, iOS devices can now properly see the squad select filter options. Visual Correction, characters now display the correct health in the save squad screen after completing a raid battle. That one was getting really annoying. Uh, team is <laughs> showing teams you haven't even used in raid yet, almost dead. Uh, favorites no longer appear at the top of the squad select filter. Isn't that kind of the whole reason to uh, to favor them in the first place? Uh, text clarification, Domino's special ability, fire in the hole, updated to display the correct damage amounts in the description. The ability was dealing the correct amount of damage and remains unchanged. Text clarification, Symbiote Spider-Man's level 6 basic ability, quick strike, updated to indicate that it applies defense down for two turns. The combat behavior is correct and remains unchanged. Text clarification, Captain America's level 2 ultimate ability, shield throw, updated to include chain to two additional targets after being upgraded from level 1. The combat behavior is correct and remains unchanged. Oh my stars and garters and animation, the animation for beast basic ability 
Uh, Dignified Strike now works correctly for all levels. Black Bolt's passive ability, King of Adelan, was sometimes not triggering when one or more enemies have death proof. This no longer occurs. That's good. That's been screwing me a lot. <laughs> uh, tier 10 ability and enhancement challenge information card incorrectly stated players needed to be level 60 to unlock. This has been corrected to level 65. Fixed, an issue sometimes occurring when entering at the character information screen for a summon Mysterio, summoned by Dr. Octopus. Hmm. I haven't experienced that one yet. <laughs> a red badge no longer appears on the Ultra Store tab for players that haven't unlocked the Ultra Store. War opponent information, sometimes being cut off the squad select screen. This bug has been defeated. Character updates, dev note. Now that She-Hulk is joining the Fantastic Four in an unofficial capacity, we've adjusted the rest of, the, of Mr. Fantastic's family to incorporate, incorporate her into their synergies, as well as benefit from She-Hulk's powerhouse presence on the battlefield. Human Torch, special, heating up. Updated, plus one offense up to a maximum of three to all Fantastic Four, Namor, or She-Hulk allies. Passive, Flame On. Updated, Fantastic Four, Namor, and She-Hulk allies gain plus 30% damage. Mr. Fantastic, Orbital Assault. Update it if She-Hulk is an ally. Instead, clear defense up on primary target. And another enemy with the most armor. Attack both targets for damage. Passive for science. Update it. Gain pl plus 60% focus and resistance for self. Fantastic Four, Namor, and all She-Hulk she allies. On self in each Fantastic Four or She-Hulk allies turn, uh, apply assist now to self, name more She-Hulk or a random Fantastic Four ally. If assist now is applied, clear blind on that target. Invisible Woman, passive hard light. On war defense, on spawn, if She-Hulk is an ally, Gain defense up for two turns on self, She-Hulk, and all Fantastic Four allies. Updated. When an enemy attacks a Fantastic Four or She-Hulk ally with barrier, attack that enemy for 250% damage. Gain plus 20% max health, Fantastic Four, Namor, and She-Hulk allies gain plus 20% max health. The Thing. Passive, it's clobbering time. Updated, gain plus 20% armor. Fantastic Four, Namor, and She-Hulk allies gain plus 20% armor. And that is that. Uh, in the data mines, we got, looks like we got a lot of uh, 10 for 10s coming up. Uh, we got uh, Tadano Mac, 10 for 10 of... Uh, it says characters that he used to clear Dark Dimension 3. Um, we have a 10 for 10 for characters in campaign, in the campaign store, or campaign nodes. Uh, 10 for 10 for characters in the arena store, also blitz store, raid store, and war store. Uh, one for characters in exclusive orbs. I don't know if that means like characters that are exclusively in orbs like um, Coulson and uh, Minerva or if it's like the event campaign nodes. So which I believe all those uh, I think the only event 
campaign character that hasn't been farmable as Minerva. So either way, uh, that would include Minerva. Uh, one for ability materials, one for uh, gold and store currencies, um, one of the, you know, various types. Uh, one for T1 ions and currency. Uh, one for training material. Uh, one for advanced basic uh, parts, catalyst parts, and superior catalyst parts. And another one for improved uh, catalyst parts and superior catalyst parts. Okay, and oh, and one for silver promotion credits. Okay, so now we got the legendary calendar. We got Phoenix coming up on October 5th, Star Lord on the 19th, Invisible Woman on November 2nd, Nick Fury on November 16th. Magneto, November 30th. Uh, Black Bolt, December 14th. Shuri, December 28th. Ebony Ma, January 11th. And Dr. Octopus for his second run on January 25th. Uh, for Flash events, we have uh, this Friday, October 2nd, Chaos Theory. Uh, Relic Hunt on the 9th, Payday on the 16th. Um, seeing as we just had Block Party, the next two weeks will be nothing, and it'll start over again on uh, November 6th with Chaos Theory. So, that being said, we'll see if the game is still in maintenance. Got a nice new splash screen. Pretty cool. I really like the model for Scream there. Any Venom, uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that one. And of course, Dr. Doom there. I think that means that we're coming up on the level cap here. Well, we kind of have to be. Because uh, I know the challenges. They said we're... Uh, I think the second... The highest level of the new challenges... Um, it's going to require, or not require, but recommend gear 15. So it looks like the game is ready. It's just got to catch up with the download here there we go okay good I was I was worried we weren't gonna finish that there okay scientist supreme actually you know what uh, looks like it's gonna give us the ISO 8 right off the bat um, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna go ahead and make this another video but that's the news I got for this week and I will see you guys hopefully this Friday or Saturday. Until then, have a good one.